we got to go inside here and uh, we're going to do this nice and gentle like. There she is. <laughs> Crazy Inky. It's been a long time since we've had a little Inky interaction. Hi girl. Would you like to come on over here? What do you think? She's grown, hasn't she? She's getting much, much bigger. Guys, look at her. She just looks just amazing. Let's show them how some of the other monitors eat, like Bobby Rabina. Hey, what's going on everyone? Ken in here, and today is an awesome day. We are going to start work on the new gator enclosure. As you saw in the previous video, we've got all the big turtles, the Badiger and the Fly Rivers are in here. And actually, I gotta be honest, this is really, really cool because they're really settling into this pond. I mean, it's an amazing pond. You can see the turtles now. I just got done feeding them. They're all active. The Fly Rivers, the Badiger, they're all just cruising around. And what's more is it's gonna be really fun to actually get in the pond with them as they get more and more acclimated to me. And uh, you know, I think it's gonna be a really fantastic situation, but here's, here's the bad situation is they have decimated, they have absolutely decimated the lilies, which I knew was going to happen. So that's kind of a bummer. So I'm just gonna pull this stuff off here so that we can continue to flow. So I'm not gonna be having too many lilies in the pond while these guys are here. Uh, I'll just chuck them over there for the redfoot tortoises to eat. But the good news is the turtles are happy. They're floating around in there. Um, so that's that. But we got to work today. So there'll be a couple of time lapses uh, to show you what we're getting done. And uh, we might even visit with our friend Inky because I'm not gonna just let her get away with stealing a mouse and not showing herself to you guys because she is looking really good. She's also a lot shyer than when I first got her, but I like to raise my animals very naturalistically. So that's what's going on. All right, so Ruben's here. He's got the bobcat. We got the posts going. Look at this stuff, man. I love when we get things going here at the camp. This is either gonna be really, really good or really, really bad. Ah, it's just too small. Look at that. Look at that move. You got it. Oh boy. Let's step on back. Nice job, Ruben. Pretty crazy. This guy knows what he's doing. All right, there's Andrew. This is Ruben's son. And we're going to have a little bit of a, uh, my buddy Bill, my neighbor, is trimming some weeds. So I said, and I gave Andrew a job, didn't I? You're working, dude. So yeah, it looks like they like it. You can throw it right on top of there and they'll go ahead and eat it. But if you want to grab more and spread it around for these it's guys. It's hard for them to chew. Yeah? Let's see. That's Socrates. Oh no, she likes it. Oh, they love it. That is like the best food for tortoises, man. Look at this. Oh, uh, we got an endless supply over at Bill's yard. All right, so. That's what's going on today. Lots happening. It's just amazing. And then we still have to bust our butts in March because we got to build the habitats for the Cayman. Let's check it out. All right, he made it. That's the final uh, bunch of lumber. We do have another delivery coming in. And uh, yeah, man, Ruben is going to hook it up. Ruben actually builds pole barns, all kinds of cool stuff. So this is actually well within his wheelhouse. So cool. So we got to fill this in at some point, but what we decided to do today was start on the fence and that's what he's going to do. We're going to start on the fence in all the spots where it's not filled in. Um, and once we get some just discarded roofing tile, like the tiles that they put on the roofs, we're going to use that as a base to fill this in. And then I'll get topsoil and throw that out too. What's cool about using this lumber is I want this to have a very safari-esque feel to it. Um, I'm of course going to do some decorating on this. Uh, this, this is going to have the 11 and a half gauge wire, but what we're going to do is um, just really safari this thing out. And there you can see Ruben knows what he's doing, man. That works. 
quick and easy. But can you imagine? I mean, this is just a lot. A lot's gonna happen here. We have to be 35 feet off of the perimeter fence. We're gonna have an eight foot tall fence on one side of the poles, and then we're gonna have a six foot tall fence on the other. Uh, super important to adhere to all the fish and wildlife regulations. You know, we're gonna come around here. I would like this to be an area where the animals can walk out. So we're gonna have the post come out. We're gonna also kind of go in through this uh, cypress area, which is gonna be challenging. I've cut down a lot of this grass, but it's gonna be pretty challenging because there's a lot of cypress roots and they're gonna have to kind of cut through that. But um, yeah, this is awesome, man. So pretty excited. Hey, Ruben. Hey man, so how many, uh, is this your first time doing an alligator enclosure? First time. All right, you stoked or what, man? Oh yeah, excited. Thank you so much for this. I really appreciate the help, man. So uh, yeah, definitely something new for him. And I see you brought Andrew, which is good because I already put him to work feeding animals, which I figured you'd appreciate. Cool, man. I'm gonna let these guys do their thing. I don't wanna keep slowing them up. So uh, we'll check back later on when we have something new and exciting to show you. So very busy day and uh, what we got going on now is my buddy Dave Lackland's here and you'll remember Dave he was the gentleman who gave us Crazy Sophia and he gave us the leprechauns and he's I think what are you moving out of country right? No I'm, going, I'm moving to the Keys. Oh he's moving to the Keys we got rabbits we get the tortoise and the hare here Dave so we're in the midst of our Omicron breakout so we're gonna stay far away. That's so cool yeah. yeah. You know like it's the beginning of the um, pandemic again because everyone I know has it. Yeah, there's no, that's one, okay. I mean, there's not one person I know that doesn't have it. No, hey, no worries. How you doing? Yeah, okay. good. Just give them distance, okay? Because we don't want to get anyone sick. Um, hey, listen, uh, the, the one thing that's a little different this time, Kenan, is I need my container back. No problem, buddy. Just, uh, I understand. I that they pooped while I was driving. Oh my but gosh, geez. look at these beautiful cherry heads and a yeah. red foot. Oh, that is really cool. So. What we'll do, these are the two cherry heads, I imagine. No, wait. Nope. No, who's who's who? Uh, I yeah, can tell yeah. you. That's a, yeah, it's just a real light. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful cherry head. Yeah, wow. And then this, these are both, I think these are both redfoots. Oh no, two cherry heads. Wow, that is awesome, dude. Let me see this one. These are gorgeous. Yep, there you go. You see how I'm looking at the plastron, male, guys? Right? Is it a male and two females? It looks not? like, let me see, I didn't really check. So let's see, here's the red foot. And it's a male. He's got the concave plaster on his guys. Also, you notice how I'm checking the bottoms. So his bottom is much more yellow. But the cherry heads are gonna have, and these are really beautiful. It's really marble. Yeah, they have the a lot of black and a lot of poop. And yes, that's a female. And then this one on the bottom is really beautiful. Oh my god, yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, two females. Oop, god, my arms. <laughs> All right. Um, let me just grab. So a container a yeah man i've just got nice shirt by the way um yeah the rabbit just lives here and uh does its own thing man that's fantastic oh i got rabbits i've got hawks i've got everything here I, like um is it possible to see the so the leprechaun the yeah come on um dave hand raised these yep, they're little little hatchlings all mine are captive so some people might be like oh my god you're not doing a quarantine but I know Dave, he does well at quarantining himself. So what's going to happen is we're going to take the two cherry heads and place them in the cherry head enclosure. Uh, it, thank you. Yeah, we've been having fun, man. We've been building and... I, know, I noticed that you have the electric on that and then you don't on... Because uh, uh, the... Well, what happened was these... So what I've done is um, the electric goes around the whole two and a half acres. This summer, I had some raccoons that made a home here, right, little right, ones. Right, right, I, and, I remember seeing them, yeah. didn't they eat something or a turtle? They did, man, they were eating some turtles. So um, because I, they were on the inside of the perimeter, because that fence I didn't realize wasn't working. So I fixed it. They were still on the inside, they were juveniles. I trapped them and got them out, but in, in the meantime, I have the electric going around because I couldn't risk losing any more. So, so that's for raccoons and rats and anything. Well, rats can kind of get through it. It's mostly for the raccoons. Um, they're the, the biggest culprit and possum. But let's go ahead and bring this mail. Oh, look at how happy I got to fill Oh, go ahead, Dave. So this is cool, huh? So beautiful job with these animals, Dave. So here we go. We're gonna place this one down here. So now we have 33 tortoises in this enclosure. 
There you go, buddy. I think Dave's gonna be excited when he sees where they're living. Hey, Dave, do you wanna see the crazy blue iguanas you gave me? Yeah. Yeah. Check it out. Have they ever calmed down at all? No, hold on one second. Uh, no, put it right against this palm tree as mulch. Okay. Have they ever calmed down? No. I mean, they're right in here. They're these right, these, them? that's them. There's wow. the female. And oh, then the male, mackerel. he's floating around somewhere. But yeah, they're, you know, they're, Female's they're all. calm yeah, to a degree. That's the female. Bit. The male. There's a heater underneath they, there in that they've cave. They've gotten bigger, they, but not, yeah. but not huge. As not, I, yet, you know, no. not yet. No. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, uh, is this a monitor? Yes, that's a black throat. That's no, Bobby Rubino. Beautiful. Here, come on over here. Here's one of them has just gone into the house. Awesome, dude. Like really awesome. I um awesome. one of the leprechauns. Look at that. Yeah, when they go in every night. Hey, That's money. Huge. Oh, huge. yeah. Looking good. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, top bigger. Oh, much really bigger. Big. Wow. Oh. Holy mackerel. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, and the, and then, and the, uh, and the, show, the, the show. Here's the other one. That's changed, too. Yeah, here's the other one back in here. Oh, right. They come on in here. Oh, cute. Yeah. Isn't that, that cool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you what happened with the other one. Yeah, passed, yeah. Passed yeah. On. it did, man. The one that was a little bit bigger than this one? No, it was a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller, yeah. yeah that would have been, so that was one I used to call Sulky, and that one was Siobhan. Ah, there you <laughs> go. Right on, dude. Uh, that's the only turtles I really named, except for the Aldabras. These guys have changed names, so they don't have a name. You gotcha. Know, so you don't. All right, so the day continues and there's still a lot of work to do. And one of the things that's gonna happen today is we're gonna get this lizard out. We're getting Inky out because I wanted to show you her progress. And as you guys know, she was a little tough a couple videos ago. So let's go ahead and get her out. And this way I can show her to you guys. But what I wanna do is first get these little mice ready. I'm gonna put one there. And then we gotta get another one right here. We're gonna feed her some mice. I don't know if she'll, she, you know what? She did take a chick the other day. Let me try and find a small chick. We'll trade out one of the mice for a chick. Yeah, I think that'll be better. We'll do a small chick, take one of these back, put the rest of them up here. There's crazy Sophia. And we gotta go inside here and uh, we're gonna do this nice and gentle like. And we are definitely gonna get her out as opposed to the last time when I didn't get her. So let's see, she loves to hang out in her little hide, but I wanna get her all the way out. We're gonna start with a mouse. Okay, I think you guys can see nicely there. She's so funny. Oh, she got it. She does not like to come out. But I want her out. Oh my gosh, is this crazy? This lizard is something. She is not easy to get out of here. And she's getting big. There we go. Good grief. Well, she's gonna wind up getting this no problem with all the entrails sticking out.
you know what? I'm actually gonna have to take this apart because I want to see this lizard. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now there, of course, I've got all these little pain in the neck ants flowing around here, which stinks. I'm not a fan of the ants. But we'll have a lizard. Let me make sure I uh, actually shut this gate. I am covered. Look at all these ants. They're just swarming me. Tons of sugar ants. These things are pain in the neck. They always show up uh, to where the heaters are. Oh, it feels gross. Probably no fun. There she is. There is our girl. Here she is. We haven't seen her in a little while. I wanted to show you guys that she's doing awesome. Such a cool lizard. So let's go ahead and move this out. I can get rid of all these ants too. I'm gonna have to spray these ants because this stinks. Oh my gosh, tons of them. Oh, gross. Where is my tongs? Let's see if she'll, oh, she went under there, huh? There she is. <laughs> crazy Yankee. What a crazy little lizard. There she is. Oh my gosh. I've been waiting to see her. Oh, I am totally being swarmed by these horrible little ants, man. It is gross. Look at all of them. God. And I don't want to spray in here, but these darn things are a pain in the neck. Let's give her some food there. Oh my gosh. This stinks. Not a fan of the ants. Good grief. This is horrible. They're everywhere. All right, well, what I need to do, I'll see as soon as I put my hands on, look at them all. They just swarm me. And then I just gotta go like this. Oh, kill as many as I can. Uh, so annoying. Anyway, let's see. I'm gonna come back down in here because I've quite literally got ants in my pants. Oh, it's gross and awful and I can't wait until I can get her out and into a different enclosure because this stinks. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's go ahead, try this again. Try this again. Now she's probably just gonna run right back into her house, but at least we got a chance to see the little rascal, wherever she may be. Wait, where'd she go? Did she already run back in? Oh, good, she's right up there. All right. We got plenty of lizards to deal with today. Oh my God, this, this is not easy. Shooting these videos all alone, let me tell you. Hang tight. Gosh, these ants are driving me nuts. Look at them all. Ugh. Would this drive you guys crazy? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think of all these ants. How am I gonna kill all these sugar ants? God, it's annoying. Look at them all swarming everywhere. Terrible. All right, well, I hate ants. They're on my crap list. Come here, you want this? Come on, come on, oh, of course I drop it. Here's a little chicken for you. Come on, come on. I wanna get it so she could grab the head, but I'm being swarmed by ants and it's annoying. Come on. Oh, let's see her. I really want to grab her, to be honest. It's been a long time since we've had a little inky interaction. But I'm being attacked and swarmed by ants everywhere. Hi, girl. Would you like to come on over here? Up, 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 up. She's going to nail me. She is going to nail me. Oop. Almost got me. That was a horrible move. Not money much faster. Moves grabbing a lizard. Okay, we got her. We got her, we got her, we got her. Okay. Oh, easy, 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 girl. And he's gonna rake you. They really rake you right there. Shush, relax. Relax, let's get her. Let's get this. Now, she's getting to be the size I definitely don't want to get nailed by her because it'll hurt. So I've got to open this up so we can just talk about her. Here we go, okay. Easy does it, Inky. Easy, Inky Poo. That's a girl. Oh, she's going to do the customary pooping on me. 
anything just because she's scared. So let's just, oh, easy girl, easy girl. See how she really, she can really get in there. I got ants, I got poop on me, I got ants on me. Holy smokes, I can't take it. But what do you think? She's grown, hasn't she? She's getting much, much bigger. And I'm happy about that. She's looking good. We haven't had hands on her in a little while. So she's looking really nice. And you can see she's averted her hemiclets. Um, they have tiny, the females will actually have tiny ones like this. Males will have hemipenes, they're much longer. Um, but that's what they are. So it's her version and uh, pretty interesting stuff. She's calming down a little bit, calming down. But I'm still kind of getting nailed here by, by this, uh, by these ants. And it's hard for me to concentrate because there's so many of them on me. But you see, she's calming down. Now that's not to say she won't freak out again real soon, but I think if I just hold her, hang out with her a little bit, it'll be good for her. I'm just happy, man. I, I think she's gonna be a very beautiful lizard. I think she already is a beautiful lizard, but she's gonna get much bigger. But guys, look at her. She just looks just amazing. She looks amazing. See how quickly she's calming down? She's gonna show me her face. Now remember, she escaped this past summer. And uh, I thought I was in trouble. I thought I'd never see her again. But oh, oh, she's gonna regurge. She's regurging. Oh, don't be upset. Shush, shush, shush. Oh, okay. She regurged a little bit. I'm sorry. We'll have to feed her again, which is okay. Uh, looks like Stumpy the uh, Stumpy the iguana is going to eat that regurgitated mouse. Hey, a little protein never hurt an iguana at all. So I upset her a little bit. Um, but, you know, I really wanted to have this opportunity to show her off. She's not trying to bite. We're trying to calm her down. And I think I think she's calming down a little bit. So this is just some of the ways, um, you know, you try and keep her calm and relaxed. And she's definitely chilling out a little. So you could see it in real time how she's calming down. And I'm trying to be calm with her. So I'm upset that she regurgitated. But that's kind of normal. It doesn't hurt her. Um, she will eat the rest of the chick. That's a big meal for her once I leave her alone and just let her do her thing. I'm trying to keep her head isolated because she can really just turn around and nail me if she wanted. But you can see she's starting to calm down a little bit. I just love this lizard. I love all the monitor lizards. I think they're awesome. So um, look at this guy. He's trying to get my sneakers, uh, shoes. Uh, Slinky, if you look at my Instagram, tried to nail me uh, and get my new shoes. And now it looks like Stumpy is trying to do the same thing. Oh, I made her nervous by doing what I did. Okay, what do you say? We put her back and we'll go ahead and feed off the rest of these rodents. And uh, I'm just really happy we got a chance to see our girl, Inky, getting big, getting really big. Just about a year old too. Good girl, how great. All right, so she came from my friends at Nerd and um, what a gift. Uh, check them out on Instagram and YouTube. And my gosh, what a beautiful lizard. See, she's just calming down a little bit now. She's not tail flicking or any uh, tongue flicking at the moment. So she's still a little bit nervous. But she's kind of playing dead, I think, is what's going on. But I'm just trying to stroke her and be calm with her and let her know that we're just trying to be friends. All right, what do you say we put her back and see how she does? Let's see, hopefully she won't bite me as I put her back. Go on. She could turn and nail me if she wants, but we don't want that to happen. Okay, there you go. A little tail whip, no problem. What I'm gonna do here, we'll put the chick right there. No, let's put the chick right over there. So when she walks, oh, when she walks back to her house, she'll let her see it. Actually, let's put it on her house. No, I'm confused. Put it right over there, okay? And then we also have the remnants of this mouse. We'll put right here. 
So I'm sure she'll grab those. I wanted to get her out. She likes hiding in that box. We don't want to keep her in that box all the time. So there you have it. We got our Inky. She is doing well. Very, very cool. What's gotta happen is I need to get this other enclosure built for her so that I can just get in there, sit down and relax with her. That's gonna be the best way for me to get her really, really tame because that's gonna be her forever enclosure. So that's what I've gotta do, everyone. But in the meantime, let's go ahead. We're gonna feed off the rest of these rodents. And I think we still have our buddy Andrew's hanging around as the guys are working. Andrew gets to hang out here and uh, let's show him how some of the other monitors eat like Bobby Rubino. Oh. All right, let's give Bobby Rubino uh, a chick today. I think he'll appreciate that. What do you guys think? I think it'll be good. Whew, Bobby Rubino's getting big also, as you can imagine. Uh, that was an ordeal because, man, I, I don't like those ants. It just... They don't really bite, but they're creepy. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Look at how big he is climbing up there. Let's get him psyched. Let's get him a chick. Some different food here. Come on, Bobby. There he is. Come on, Bobby. Come on. Get him on this. There we go. All right. Very, very cool. There is Bobby Rubino, everyone. Now he's probably gonna squirt, squirt that all over me. I hope not. But he is a cool lizard, man. And he's getting big also. So cool to see these animals grow and do well. Remember, he was almost dead. So, really excited that he's actually doing much better now. So we'll let him do his thing. I'll throw a mouse in there too. And uh, we got more to do. I gotta get rid of these. Gotta get rid of these critters. Ah, uh, these prey items. All right, Andrew, come on, follow me. We're gonna feed Pinky. I'll teach you how to feed a lizard. Andrew's hanging out with his dad while his dad works on the crocodile gator enclosure. But what I want to do is just first get a chick on the tongs. And then he, you know, she gets crazy right here. So look at this. There she goes. There she is. Oh, you got my tongs. There you go. Grab the tongs. Grab a chick with the tongs. Let her finish this one. All right, you got it? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So let's watch her swallow this we, have to feed the big we got feed everybody dude you just you just wait and see all right bring it up oh better grab it quick don't let her out of the cage awesome grab another one got to get ready quick she's going to be swallowing this one real fast go ahead and put the other one up on that rock over there just lot drop it right down there you go she'll grab it and how about one more for her nice good deal man all right, put that right on the rock. We are done. We're done with her. Very cool. Let's see what Lagatha is up to. I don't know if she'll eat. It's been a little cool. She's a little bit more temperamental. All right, Andrew's got the bucket. We're going to Lagatha. You can't come in with Lagatha because she's kind of dangerous. Um, but you can still watch her. Let's see if Laggy Lou is out. Here, bring me that bucket, pal. And that those tongs let's see all right thank you dude let's see we got to open this up i don't know if she's gonna eat she can be a little tricky from time to time I walked by the cage and came out. she did oh she's in her house look at that she might be warmed up then we're just gonna feed her lightly all right you shut that for me don't lock it just shut it all right here she is we got two two chicks for her let's say See what kind of mood she's in. Oh, I think she wants it. She seems to be. She seems to be interested. We'll go ahead and leave it right there. 
This is bringing the, this is like, uh, what is this called? Uber Eats. All right, I bring her the food. Nice. Now we've got two squirrels and a chick left. And you know where we're going? We're going to the big boy. We're going to go get Slinky all fed. All right. Now, I was mentioning a couple days ago, I got these new boots. You see these boots? Slinky actually became enamored with them and actually nibbled on them and ripped my jeans, which uh, was interesting. All right, you got to stay out here, Andrew. Thanks, buddy. All right, let's call for Slinky. Slinky, shut that gate. Slinky. 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 He loves squirrel. Mr. Arrington brings me these squirrels. Let's see if we can get him out. Is he out or where is he? Slinky. 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 Slinky, Slinky, Slinky. Slinky. Oh my gosh, everybody's, everybody is just. Yeah, there he is. He's starting to come out. All right. He was on the way out. Let's see. Come on, Slinky. Come on, buddy. Once he starts to smell this squirrel, we'll get him out. And uh, he'll get very excited very quickly. I'm going to pull him all the way out here for everyone. He loves squirrel. Slinky! You can see him poking. Where is my slinks? Gosh, he got it. There you go. Oh boy. Making sure it's dead. And that's what's so cool about having this big enclosure. I get to run him, make sure that he's a lean and mean fighting machine here. Nice job, Slinky. And these squirrels have been frozen for a month. So any parasites are dead, which is what I've been doing is just keeping them frozen, keeping them dead. Oh look, he's still got he still got squirrel on the tail. Come on, come on, come on. Oh there he goes. Good boy. Wow. Pretty cool, huh? What do you think? Cool? Yeah, man. He's a big lizard. That is a good boy right there. It's my own personal dragon. Look at how he just gobbles it right down. Whole prey item. He is looking just fabulous. Good boy, Slinky. We'll let him finish this, and then I'll just go ahead and place a chick and a rodent right there for him. Yes. So there you go, everybody. We had a fun day today. We watched a lot happen. The guys are uh, working hard on the gator enclosure. I'm feeding Slinky. <laughs> looking good, you guys. What do you think? Pretty cool? Yeah, man. Let's go take a look see what they got going on these guys are working hard man working real hard but check it out we got here we are we're not even done with day one but we've got these guys have been putting the posts up we got some good music cooking huh i love it very festive but look at how nice that looks guys oh my gosh can you imagine so it's starting to take shape we're fencing this off this is going to be an amazing enclosure. I can't wait to share it with all of you guys. We're going to sign off right now, man. I'm going to let everyone get back to work. And uh, I can't believe this is going to be in my backyard. It's, it's truly a privilege and an honor, man. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. I think they're really excited about what they just saw Slinky do. It's pretty fun over here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again on the next video. So long.